here we go here we go welcome back to the channel welcome back to the channel don't forget to hit like subscribe button like subscribe button tell a friend tell a friend here we have another crazy story another crazy story imagine that imagine that little dirt little dirt decided that he want to go out of his way to separate himself from his family i wonder why little dirt wants to separate himself from his family i'll never forget one time i was watching an interview with little dirt it was a million dollar worth of games, a million dollar worth of games. And he was like, you know what? Wow, I feel so good. I feel so good that I could finally have a mother and a father around. Imagine that. Imagine feeling good having a mother and a father around at the same time. Yeah. But unfortunately, unfortunately, this is around the same time, this is around the same time. It's about two years ago that interview was. Matter of fact, I'm gonna let you hear it. I'm gonna let you hear it. And I'm gonna get back to what I gotta say in a second. Hear me. Well, you know, a lot of us uh, a lot of a lot of especially a lot of young is in here. Dad's in the penitentiary, been in the penitentiary their whole life. Now you got your dad back on the scene, man. How do it feel, man? Like y'all just, you know, you know, he he hear grandpa, he got the kid. Like, how do it feel, man? It's like a load off my back. You know what I'm saying? Then it's like Feeling crazy to even know, like, I got my mama and my dad. Yeah. You know I'm saying? I've never been one of the ones who could say that. I'd be mad to see her brother got their mom and they did in the house together. So I was saying, I was saying, this, this interview is about two years ago. I'm not certain if this was before or right after when Little Dirt is being accused of, um, um, you know, putting out that hit on Quando Rondo. But you hear a little dirt talking about family, how great it is to be around family. But at the same time, little dirt decided that he wanted to separate Quando Rondo from his family. I'm sure little dirt know that Quando Rondo have kids and stuff like that. But he didn't care. He still wanted to separate that man from his family. So what ended up happening now, it didn't happen. He ended up separating his own self from his own family, placing his girlfriend, I'm not sure if it's his wife or his fiance, in a position to have no choice but to be around other men. Think about it. Think about that. Little Dirk say, you know what? I'm the man. I have the money. And that's it. A lot of individuals feel like, you know what, just because they have money, they feel powerful. They feel invincible. Some of them even stop caring about other individuals. Families. If Lord Dirk didn't decide to take Quando Rondo away from his family, he wouldn't have to worry about being separated from his family. Or am I wrong? Am I wrong? Because I have to admit, I went back, I went back. And I was listening to some of Lil Durk's songs. And I said, you know what? Since the past, I say about um, five, six, definitely four, five, six years ago, Lil Durk started rapping different. He started rapping about putting a lot of hits on people. Everybody, he got $50,000 on everybody had $50,000, $50,000 there. He got, he just got $50,000 to give away. FBG Cash, you know, that's a, another individual, unsolved murder. But I heard Lil Dirk say, you know what? When you see Cash blast his ass, I got $50,000 for you. Is, I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I don't know. But why would he want to say something like that though? Could Lil Dirk probably go down for other individuals' demise? Slain? You know what I mean. Blast his ass. Blast his ass. That's all he was saying. Who talks like that? Must be a very negative person. Imagine that. Lil, Dur Lil Dirk's in the court right now, and everybody's saying, Blast his ass. Blast his ass. I'm certain that Lil Dirk was to hear something like that. He said, What? You said to do what? What? Yeah, blast his ass. He wouldn't like that. He wouldn't like that at all. But Lil Dirk said, you know what? 
when you see FBG cash blast his ass. I got a thousand dollars right here. He didn't say it like that. He didn't say it like that. You know what I mean? But the way he was talking, like he probably has something to do with FBG cash. You know, murder too. I don't know. I mean, is a little dirt. Is a little dirt like a. I mean, like a serial killer, like Little Vaughn. I don't know. Is Little Dirt responsible for more hits? Imagine if he is. I mean, going back to listening to Lawless's rap music, he's just talking about crimes. Young millionaire. Was he not happy with money? With fancy cars, jewelry, big mansions? You know? Was he not happy with that? Only thing he was focused on was blast his ass. Why did Lil Durk want to talk about separating other individuals from his family, from their families? And he said that he wouldn't want to, he, he said he's so glad that he could be around his family. Imagine that. Imagine wanting to do something to somebody else that you wouldn't want done unto your own self. They said Lil Durk discovered religion, which is great. Religion teaches you the difference between right and wrong. So you try and tell me that little dirt didn't know the difference between right and wrong? When he was talking about blast his ass, cash, FBG cash. At least I used to like FBG cash. Smooth laid back, laid back brother. He didn't do nothing nobody, you know? Even if he did, Lil Durk said everybody deserves a second chance. So you know, FBG Cash definitely deserve a second chance. But you have a little dirt going around. He's on a million dollar worth of game with a million dollars cash. He got money to blow, put on anybody's head. That's what I got from it. He's basically was take. He was basically was um um what's the word I'm looking for? He was basically taking advantage. Of poor people because he had the money he had the money and all these poor people who was around him down and out they want to be like him be around him so in return they was willing to do anything for him imagine that they didn't want to go work eight hour chef they didn't want to do that they wanted to do whatever little Dirk wanted them to do OTF I heard little Dirk said one time you know what you're not just gonna be hanging around me for no reason at all. You better play a part. Why would Lil Durk wanna start up a criminal organization? Why not just start up a real estate development business? You know? OTF, that's a gang. What else could it be? Who are you? I'm OTF. I'm o you mean you're OTF. Who's what's OTF? Know who you are as a human being. If you're part of an organization, that's a gang. Ain't, ain't more than one. More than one is more than one is two. That's a gang now. I'm OTF. So a little dirt probably in his mind thought he could form his own gang. I mean, maybe he did. That's why he is where he is right now behind the bars. That's where most gang leaders are. Remember what happened to Tookie Williams who started the Crips? You heard what happened to Larry Hoover who started up? What he started up? Was it the GDs? I don't know what he started up. I know he's behind the bars right now trying to get out. I know that. So all these individuals who want to go out of their way to start gangs, leaders, the leaders end up behind the bars. So basically little dirt is where he's supposed, I mean, maybe he knows he's supposed to be there. Imagine me right now starting up again. What's the name of it? ABC? ABC? Who are you? I'm ABC. Yeah, ABC. Imagine that. Everybody ABC now. But I said, Lil Dirt decided to go out of his way to separate someone from their family. He's away from his kids right now. Was it worth it? I don't believe so. They said, don't do unto others that you wouldn't want done unto yourself. 
I mean, believe it or not, that philosophy makes a lot of sense to me. Imagine me wanting to do something bad to somebody, separate from their family, and not expecting, and don't want the same thing to happen to me. Imagine that. I'm privileged. I'm privileged. I'm better than the next person. I'm better than the next person. Little Dirk was feeling like he was better than the next person. Felt like that person, you know, shot collar. Little small man is a shot collar just because he has money to blow. Hopefully he has the money to blow when he goes behind the bars. They said Lil Dirt might get the death penalty. Imagine that. Imagine going around from driving around brand new fancy cars, Bentleys and Range Rovers and Rolls Royces. And now your main thing is, am I going to accept death penalty or life in prison? Which one is better? I don't know. I'm going to think about it right now. I'm going to think about it right now. Which one is better? Death penalty or life in prison? Mm. Mm. I'm going to say, oh, no, I don't know. You decide. You decide what's best for me. I don't know. They're both pretty bad. Imagine that. Imagine you can't make a decision. Don't forget, I'm just talking to say crown on pay. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. Unbelievable. A little dirt. I'm the man. I got money. You know, I'm the leader. They do what I tell them to do. Poor people.